So another video, another ecosystem, and uh, this one is a, um, a a little bit different. It's a, a rocky habitat. It's mostly granite. It's uh, surrounded by a eucalypt woodland, uh, but within the rocky habitat, you do get uh, different species. You get some endemic plants that only grow here, uh, and you get a few different animals as well. And uh, that's the main reason I'm here is to uh, look for a type of a macropod that lives within the rocky habitat specifically. And this is a group called the rock wallabies. Uh, there are of course many different rock wallabies across the continent and uh, this is one that I haven't seen before. This one is called the brush-tailed rock wallaby and it's one of the more southerly species. So rock wallabies normally um, like most Australian mammals, sleep during the day, or at least rest during the day, and then they generally don't come out except um, at night time and the uh, first few hours of the morning and last few hours of the day, generally to feed. So I'll try a couple of different spots. <clears throat> sort of looking and, and stopping and just sort of gazing around see if I can find any movement and that's usually what I'm looking for if they're, if they're still uh, and there could be a dozen of them there looking right at you uh, you you could easily miss them uh, they just blend in really well so what you're hoping for is a little bit of luck and just to see a little bit of movement as they uh, jump between rocks or they turn their head or just something that will catch your eye and then you can focus on the animal. So I've come to this area because it's known for its uh, brush tailed rock wallaby um, population, but I haven't seen one yet. And uh, I'm not really sure if they're here, but I now know that they are because one of the essential signs of rockabillies that you always look for is their um, scat. So if you can see some scat and they look like little sort of uh, sultanas, if you like, they're not too big. They're not cubed like a wallaroo or a euro, uh, and they're not as big as a western grey or an eastern grey. So they're quite small bits of and they're almost always in and amongst the rocky crevices so that's a good sign that there's at least one rock wallaby here okay so we're pretty lucky um, i've got a single one here and uh, it looks like i think it's a i'm guessing it's a male and i think it's probably um probably somewhat used to people there's a little trail here so he's just off the track and uh, he doesn't seem too disturbed by us which is good for for us and good for him he doesn't get too stressed out so rock wallabies are a, um, a very specialized rock inhabiting uh, macropod a wallaby I think of it as a small kangaroo really and um, there's sort of equivalents of these animals all around the world so wherever there's a <clears throat> a rocky habitat in um, Eurasia or Africa there's usually a, a group of mammals that have adapted to live in it so in Africa of course you've got Dassi or Hyrax uh, all across Europe and Asia you have mountain goats and here in Australia particularly in the tropics and the arid areas uh, we have a group called the Petrogali which means rock weasel which are the rock wallabies and uh, this little guy belongs to a group um, which is very interesting. They uh, found that there's many more species than we thought because uh, they're quite cryptic. Uh, they often, uh, the colour of their fur changes to uh, blending with the rock they live in. And uh, they could only determine that there was many different more species than they thought by looking at the genetics of, uh, of many individuals. So it's... Um, I haven't got a watch, I don't know what time, it, but it's early, I think it's only about 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, actually, it might be about 7. And um, uh, he's still feeding by the look of it, so he's having a little bit of a munch away. 
and uh, in the next hour or two when it gets quite hot today I think um, you'll head off fairly shortly and so I guess it's time we should head off as well it's been uh, pretty productive it's a new species for me and uh, time to hop off thank you